Hi everybody, Fred the Bear here. We are at Magic Kingdom. Yes, we're going, finally going back to Jungle Skipper Canteen LTV. Jungle I just got Cantina. Yeah. So, what? It's time to leave. <laughs> 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 it's been almost two years since we've been here and uh, we're hungry. So. We missed our reservation of Carrie Ann, so we are going again. Yep. As a warning, as always, if you're hungry, it's already too late. There's more links for food below, and we will see you soon. Be sure to jump with Carrie You heard the girl. city in the throat. This is something that I can enjoy throughout the entire dinner. Ooh, four out of five plus. Brand this one to the list. On um, presentation alone, I'm gonna just brag a little bit and say that mine was better. The Falls Family Falafel. This falafel look beautiful. The edamame hummus is very small amount. You can see it's nice and dense. I'm gonna just do one of these numbers. It smells very familiar and delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a little more dense and a little more soft than the norm, but it's not terrible. It tastes like it's missing something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's something. I do think their edamame hummus tastes a little bit better than the one that I made, but the falafel. You guys, if you need falafel, I'll put a link in the description box down below for that recipe, and that video, because I make it all the time and it is so good. You gotta do it. Just do it. So, feels like deja vu. More ways than one. But I have an appetite for an appetizer. So, it's kind of like the princess used to make. Falafel's a nice crust on it. Just a warm, tough on the inside. The hummus is good. I'd love more of these seeds, a little bit more radish, but this is still a super solid appetizer. The plant-based variety. 
Three and a half out of five holes. For the next shipment to Grub Grotto. Oh a recipe for elbow macaroni. And here's one for smoked ribs. What did I just say? Got it. Shipping it now. Get it? Last time I was here, I got the curry. So there's a bunch of things that I don't like in this plate, but I'm trying it anyway. It's good, but it's not like, oh my god, I have to come here for the curry. It's all right. Two and a half out of five plus. It was a little bland, so I'm glad I don't have to get it again. It is on the menu for the limited menu. But we also have some pad thai noodles, which is 100% vegan. You can get it with chicken. I'm just going to try these noodles. Or well, I'm not trying the noodles. Noodles. Mmm. Very pad thai -y. A nice little spice to it. I taste a hint of peanut butter. It's not firm tofu. But it's not silken either. It's like one that's like in the middle. I do like this a lot more than the curry. It's good. It's, uh, it's definitely going to take a bit to finish though. As I stir it all together. The sauce is amazing. It's good. It's good. I would recommend. So seeing pictures of this, I actually did consider getting this with chicken. I want to do something a bit different, but I like the giant pieces of spinach. Uh, it actually feels like it should have more tofu because it doesn't look like there's that much in here. I see some snow peas, red peppers, uh, some shaved carrots all amongst these noodles. So it looks like a full showing. Mm -hmm. I taste that peanut flavor. Got a little bit of spice. On a spice scale, I'll give her like a 2 out of 10. Enough to tingle, but not enough to hurt. Everything is really crisp. The vegetables are fresh. I kind of wish the spinach had been reduced more, even though it's big whole ones, I just like them a bit smaller than just these big chunks here. But it's got a lot of flavor. And I think even this would fill even me up, but I would be afraid with all this leftover sauce, I'd kind of make a mess though. But I probably could order this without the chicken, I'm in just fine. That three and a half out of five plus. I got it. It tastes like chicken because it is chicken. They did check with me to make sure that I knew that it was chicken. And you have this sweet chili sauce on the side, which they say is spicy. I will be the judge of that. Go ahead and carve this yard bird here. The breading is nice and crispy. Some white meat on the inside. Mm. Chicken tot. The breading is crisp, doesn't have a lot of flavor to it on its own. Mm. That chili sauce. The chili sauce itself is maybe a one that I on the spice scale. The princess's noodles are hotter than this. But I like how moist the juicy chicken is under the breading, so it kind of gives it a nice little mix. The chicken itself, while cooked and juicy, doesn't have a whole lot of flavor on its own. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe I'll check it back in later and see what I think, but right now, it's average. Two and a half out of five four. Yeah, I'm keeping my rating on the chicken. I'm not changing it. I feel how I feel. 
We'll talk. I'm still picking away at mine. I would like to know that there was only maybe like four pieces of tofu in this dish and the rest is noodles and sauce. Not that I object to the noodles and sauce, especially since the sauce is spicy, but the lack of tofu made me a little sad inside. I still ate all the tofu first though. I just want you guys to know how horrible it is to drink at this table. Look at this. We always get the rickety tables. Like, somebody put something underneath this table. I want my wine to not be like a puddle. Thank you. Hello everybody, Prince and the Bear here. We just finished that Skipper Canteen. It was good. It was. The food was good. I'm glad that we came back after so long. It's been a bit. The new noodle dish. What do you think? It's good. Spicy and good. Yes. Falafel balls. I know she, she had some feelings about the plating. I mean, I'm, mine were better. I agree. I agree. But we want to know, what do you guys think? When was the last time you came to the canteen? Is it on your list for places to come next time you come here? If so, the comments always going to be placed. Let us know. Hit that notification bell if you want to hear the videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.